What is going on my dudes? One Step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today showing you all the big character changes you need to know about. With the new Chaos Reigns update, a lot of characters, if not all of them, got small up to uh, big updates and changes and or new moves. And I'm not gonna go over the small, my new, like, oh, they went up by one frame. But I'm gonna give you the base rundown of all the big things you need to know about. And thanks for characters that are actually pretty big game changers. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat 1 content and let's get right into it. As for you Gears players, a really big change for you is your forward three is now a pop-up. And if you have the right cameo that can lead into combos of course or just if you're in the corner that's free combos there too and for you very few shang mains he got a pretty big update too old man shang has a new string four three four that is a double low pop-up again if you have the right cameo that's uh, just more combos for you and now you can copy your opponent's cameo moves. So right now, our opponent is using Pharah. So if we do down forward four, we you are Pharah. And you can also enhance that to get an enhanced version of the move. As you saw right there, that was a pop-up. Almost all the enhanced versions go into some form of like combo, especially if you have the right cameo for yourself. Now I dare any of you Shang mates to play Shang Tsung, copy your opponent's cameo, use Shijinko as your cameo to then copy your opponent's main character's move. That's just a whole mind game I don't even want to worry about. Omni-Man mains are going to be happy your forward two that was an overhead. That is now a pop-up as well. So a good mix. You get the forward three for the lows and now forward two for a pop-up. And again with the right cameo, that's just more combo extension. If you're fighting an Omni-Man, uh, you better watch that mix. If you're in the corner, that's easily extendable as a combo without a cameo. Kung Lao got a bunch of new stuff. He got a new move in the air that is his hat toss back forward one. That can be great for extending aerial combos like this. Way more doable in the corner as well. You can now move the Shaolin spin down up three by holding back or forward. And then his armored wake up move is enhanced back forward too. When this is blocked, you can spend an extra meter by pressing four and R1 to get an extra move. So here's how it looks. And why might you do that? Well, if they try to punish, that'll be for combo extension. But also if you didn't notice, the original version here when blocked is negative 15 on block, so you're not safe. But if you spend that extra bar here, that now is safe at negative two on block. Is it worth the two bars? I think it's gonna be very situational, but that is a new thing that Kung Lao can do. As Havoc is the one raining chaos himself, he got a ton of new stuff. Well, first of all, his helping hand down back one is a little bit faster on startup here. Comes out a little bit better. And this is one of these things that gets crazy. He's back forward to the enhanced bloodbath. Still costs two bars. Once you enhance it again, back forward two, you see we have a buff right here. What is this even doing? Well, first of all, it's scrambling your input. So right now I'm pressing back, but I'm moving forward. So it really messes with your whole input system. You're gonna have to memorize what's what when you're in scramble mode. But while you're in that buff mode, enhance special moves, breaker, using super meter, anything that uses super meter no longer uses super meter. Like you can do enhanced special moves without having super meter because you just used all three to do both of those moves. Cause we're gonna have to enhance it with two of them. And we're gonna have to hands it again use our last super meter bar well now what if i do up forward one that's the arm swing okay see we're gonna use our two of our meters here use it again to get the enhanced buff here and there we go now all of our moves we can enhance them for uh for free but our block button now changes so we have to like uh figure that out see that was meter but we didn't have to use meter for that so it's very weird you're gonna be scrambled up a little bit but once you realize what buttons are you know now applied to other buttons once you figure that out being scrambled like that's not gonna be a problem and you basically have unlimited super meter that's kind of dope also your aerial move two four now has a different hit reaction more or less a pop and two to continue combo like this <laughs> Also, he got a new special move down back too. As you see, that is a side switcher launcher or more combo. It's also a low for great mix up. You can go forward four and then down back two for a low low. So we got a new special move, better aerial combos, a crazy scramble like buff that basically gives us unlimited super meter, faster arm swing. Havoc got a massive buff and I feel like we're gonna see a lot more Havoc mains now. Liu Kang also got a new move back to one. As you see, we're not doing the normal back to three, which is a mid high and that is a great pop up, yes. But if the opponent is smart, they'll just duck that high and then punish you, which is the risk of using it. So having that mix up for a back to one instead, one, it's gapless so they can't interrupt it. It's also safe on block. So if you wanna go that route, even though back to 
two, three is safe on block, sure. Again, you could duck that. Whereas a mid, mid, you cannot. So that gives Liu Kang just that much more mix and that much more safety. As a secondary Liu Kang main, I love to see it. As a Raiden main, I've been waiting for some buffs and he finally got a little one. His enhanced teleport that is actually a low and it allows for aerial combos. It was really hard to do for like the timing. It's a lot easier now. Not only that, yes, it still costs two bars. It has less damage scaling. So your combo is gonna do more damage. And in that combo you do from that enhanced teleport, the opponent cannot break her or use her cameo until they land. So if you're close, like this match might be right here and your opponent has all three bars, you think they're gonna break her. It is a surefire way to make sure they can't and you secure the dub. It's a lot easier using combos like this. You can even hit him in the air and extend on the ground. I'm not saying he needed a giant buff, but even a small one like this, I just love to see it. Tanya got some work done. And it is good work. Like, this is, what I think, what she needed. So you know her spinning kicks down back four? That's great. You used to do all the kicks even if your opponent blocked it. Well, now if they do block the first kick, uh, no more. And that is super punishable at negative 34 on block. That is a, that's a big deal. However, if you're a Tanya player, you know that she can gain deity or like deity charges with down four or three. Now we have one charge and now we got two. Normally her down back four is gonna be super negative and you don't continue the kicks. If you wanna hold four during that move, you actually do all the kicks but it uses your DD charges. Also, side note, if you have all the DD charges and you do down back four and you hold it, during this move right here, you are also projectile invulnerable. So that's kind of cool. It's still on safe on block, but not quite negative 34. So it can allow for chip damage and make you a tiny bit more safe. You can use those DD charges for a lot more than just that too. Her projectile down four to one does 60 damage. But if you have all three DD charges, and you want to hold one during it, it does 80 damage. So more damage to your projectiles. Again, by using your DD charges, the projectile also goes faster. Also, Divine Protection down back three will also now parry projectiles like this. <laughs> A ton of new changes for Tanya. Different ways to use your DD charges. You can now parry projectiles. I consider all these changes to Tanya great. And I'm excited to see how they come to play uh, for like, all the high-end players. It's gonna be really sick. Takeda got some big buffs. I'm talking like even damage buffs on most of his entire kit. So he just does more damage in general, which is insane. He did great damage before anyways. Number two now has a different hit reaction. It's also now cancelable into special moves. Which is great because that's got some really good reach. It is a high yes. But be able to poke out like that and then cancel the specials. That's freaking awesome. More damage, more ways to do specials. Decade was already a beast. Now he's going to be even more of a menace. I'm pretty sure I covered most of the big changes you guys needed to know about. If I missed one or two, sorry. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down below. First, who's your main character in Mortal Kombat 1 and why? And secondly, were they affected by these changes? And even if you don't main the characters we talked about today, how do you feel about these changes overall? I'm talking all of them. Geras, Omni-Man, Raiden, Tanya, Takeda, Kung Lao, Liu Kang. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.